<laughs> we're going to go with it then. Is that okay, Reagan? Yep. Do we want to? Oh, we're already recording. So there we go. We don't have to do that. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining tonight. I know there's lots of things you could be doing. You could be playing in the snow like me. Um, but I'm here to talk tonight about, um, i calling it mission mindset. So I believe that we are on this really, really awesome mission. I am grateful that we get to do this. I'm grateful that somebody shared this with me. I believe that we have something to share with the world that the world needs to know about. And in that, and people getting healthy and up-leveling their health, up-leveling their lives, not only their health, but their financial health as well, um, we are making a really big difference in the world. And I also believe that I was put on this planet to make it a better place. And I also believe that each and every single one of you was put on this planet to make it a better place. Place for our kids, for the future, for future generations. And I think that we have something that lights up the world, helps people to be a better version of themselves. And I also believe that each and every single one of us were meant to be on this mission together right here in this time and place right now. And I'm so grateful that I get to do that with each and every one of you. And I think we make, our, we make each other better people by surrounding ourselves and getting on these calls like we do every week. And we've heard it before over and over again that this business is you know, a business disguised as a personal development program. And I love that I get to improve my life with each and every one of you. And I love that I am... That this business helps me to become the best version of myself because of this personal development that we're doing. So tonight's mindset is, or this, this mission mindset that I'm going to talk about, I'm actually here to talk about some habits that can help us up-level our mindset so that, I mean, I don't know about you, but we've got big plans to like move forward in this business. We've got big plans to make impact in the world. Sometimes for me, that's like, okay, just one person a week, but sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, like I really want to make a big impact. And, um, I think honestly, like sometimes the fears set in, um, if you're like me, the, the fear or you found yourself being the only thing in the way of getting to the goal or helping more people get healthier to hear about our mission, to hear about our product, to hear about our company. Like oftentimes, I mean, anybody else, like you're the only reason in the way, right? And a huge piece of that, you guys, I do have to take a little bit of pressure off of you because here's the thing. If we are talking about um, the conscious and the subconscious minds, like the conscious mind is only like 5% of our thoughts. I, I, I heard somebody at the conference, uh, not the conference, but I was at the uh, Juice Plus Regional in California the other day and she was talking about mindset and she was saying, you know, our subconscious is actually ruling our brain and is making us do all these things, but what is our subconscious built, built from? So I'm going to actually read this. You guys, if you haven't read this book and you want to up-level your mindset and up-level your life, this is really, really awesome. Uh, you are a badass. And actually, my group is reading it together right now, um, and it's been super fun to have conversation about it. But she says, our subconscious mind contains the blueprint for our lives. It's running the show based on the unfiltered information that we gathered when we were kids, otherwise known as our beliefs. Okay. Um, we are, for the most part, completely oblivious to these subconscious beliefs that run our lives. And when our conscious minds finally develop and show up for work, no matter how big and smart and highfalutin they grow to be, they're still being controlled by the beliefs we're carrying around in our subconscious minds. So when we wake up every single morning, so here's, here's we're going to talk about habits. So I'm going to go back to that in a second, but habits. So we have this awesome program called the Shred 10, right? You guys know about it. And it's all about building healthy habits for creating a healthy body, right? So, and we create those habits and we've got these habits over time that kind of compound effect upon each other. We take our juice plus every day. We drink our shakes every day. We commit to drinking more water, all that kind of stuff. We all know this, right? Those are the healthy habits that feed our body to perform well. 
we also have this other thing that we talk about and it's we it's also imperative to feed our mind what we want it to eat <laughs> okay does that make sense so the stories that we are telling ourselves are usually happening like you're like wait why do i like self sabotage that kind of stuff it's these things that we've you know believed that we're just kind of like well my mom and dad believed that you know they had to work hard for their money and it took a lot of hard work to get there and it usually went away pretty quickly right like some of these things that happened that we don't have control over but what we do have control is to make a choice and make a decision for a different um a different outcome every single day so what are you feeding your brain and your and just like we, we talk about feeding your body what are we going to feed it every day so i so this the reason i told reagan that i wanted to do this call is because i kind of took on this mission myself this um january one and i just realized you know i needed a little bit more self-love i needed to get my mindset right and so i decided to kind of take on like a 30-day meditation challenge prayer challenge whatever you want to call it like just took a time for me to like set what was going to happen in my brain and body like before i pick up my phone it's like my phone basically if i pick it up first thing in the morning it decides what i'm going to put in my brain for me right so what i chose was to kind of set a pause and set my day up for success and so some of the things that i'm doing to kind of create the habits for mission mindset is i have been starting with a pause every morning and sometimes it didn't happen in the morning as i was getting used to these habits right sometimes it came at three o'clock because i knew my kids were going to come home at 3 30 and i still hadn't done it yet so i um so pause first thing in the morning i use an insight timer which is an app so i told you that i didn't want to feed my brain with this but it's a really good way to start off your meditation habit if you don't have one already um it's really powerful to kind of tap into um just the pause and calm and setting you up and i literally did this for five minutes every morning and then it's like, what are you going to feed the body? Like, what are you going to feed the brain? What are you going to, so I don't know if you guys have ever tried affirmations, but I um, worked with, you know, a meditation coach, um, but he also had us create like this lens statement. And the lens is like, what do you, what do you believe about yourself? You guys have heard, we've talked about I am statements, like I am whatever it is that you believe, you know, you are. Um, I'm going to play mine for you, and I hope, I hope that you can hear it. Somebody actually unmute so you can tell me if it's working. We so this is like a lens statement. So this, this lens statement is something that I wrote that I believe and also aspire to be like and to be that i that i truly believe about myself about who i am who i'm here who my what my bigger purpose what my calling is in life okay and um here let's see i'm going to choose somebody rachel will you tell me if it's working so yeah i'm sorry i can unmute you because i'm not the controller of uh, yeah yeah of the deal okay so i'm before i play this um he had me also overlay my voice so this whole thing is in my voice and it's overlaid into like this honey sync music that goes directly into for whatever reason there's crazy science around it but into the subconscious brain so it's retraining your brain to think so it's basically like inserting this directly into my subconscious brain, okay? And this is kind of, you're gonna um, probably laugh at my, this is being me being super vulnerable sharing this with you guys. So, hold on. Okay, can you hear this music? Yeah. Okay. So this is the background music. And then you're gonna hear my voice here in a minute.
I am peace, harmony, love, a child of God. I serve others by knowing my true value, by rising up, shining bright, and using my voice. Lives are changed through me. I radiate my goddess vibe to attract my tribe of wellness warriors. Together, we are a force for good, nourishment, healing, and vitality. We ripple our impact across the planet for future generations. I am grounded and energized by family, nature, fun, and our adventurous life. I take action on purpose, for purpose, every day. I am brave, I am courageous, I am enough, I am spirit, I am free. Okay, so then, did you guys hear that? Were you able to hear that? That's great, Mel, yeah, heard it. So, um, it seems a little bit corny, and I know <laughs> when I first started it, and it, to hear my own voice, in my earphones like that was a little bit creepy and freaky and weird and hard to get used to. But I tell you guys, like my day, I can't start my day without it now. And then the other thing that I, um, the other thing that I do right after that, so it'll, that thing plays for like seven minutes. And then it's my voice kind of going the same thing over what you just heard over and over again for that seven minutes. But so after I hear it like twice, what happens is I will then do like my workout. So I just decided for January, I was like, I always have this thing where I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to the gym and not, and I'm like, but it's too complicated and whatnot. So I was like, I'm just going to start the habit of doing 10 squats, 10 push ups, 10, um, 10 sit ups every single day. It's like, it's just like eating juice plus. I was like, the compound effect that happens every single, you know, if you can do it every single day. So I did that. I did three sets of that every day, right as I'm like listening to my, my I am statements, my lens statement. Um, and I feel like linking the three habits together. It's like, yes, I meditate, but I can't, I can, and now I can't do my little meditation without doing the other two things. And it's really created this awesome habit to start my day on my best, um, basically my best, with my best foot, best foot forward, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So um, I really just wanted to share um, some of those habits um, because I feel like so often we have like big ideas to like really make a difference in the world, be brave, all this kind of stuff, but we're not feeding our minds first to believe what it is that we, you know, believe, right? So um, some of the things you guys, um, so if you want, so the insight timer is just, there's like guided meditations on it. It's a really simple way to like start your meditation practice and just know like it is a practice. It takes a little bit to get used to. I usually finish my, my meditation practice, which is really just trying to like stop the thoughts coming through, right? It's like, all right, focus on the breath. Just focus back on the breath. And what I've been feeling is this really great connection to really who I am and to my divine creator, um, God, whatever you want to call it. Everybody can call it something different, but I do believe that we're here on purpose for a purpose that is w greater than than us, just ourselves. And this time has really allowed me to have that connection and to really feel that. And it makes setting myself up like that every day, it just makes it easier to do the hard, brave things that we are called to do out there in the world, whether it be have a hard conversation with a friend that has cancer or a conversation with a mom that's trying to get pregnant, but you don't want to be like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, Juice Plus is going to answer all your questions, you know, so, you know, be the answer to all of your things, but you know what, our love and helping that person in whatever way that we can does make a difference. And, um, I don't know. I just, I just feel like having setting ourselves up 
at the very beginning of the day um, really does make a difference. Do any, uh, so, okay, I was gonna say the, the insight timer. Yeah, Tracy Zoosh. Yes, people are putting like what questions over here. So what's the name of the app? So the app is Insight Timer. It's free. And I follow a guy on there called, his name is Christopher with a K and two Fs. So good luck with that. Uh, Christopher Carter with a C. He goes by Casey. And he has these really awesome, simple guided meditations. One that I love is, um, is it called the sky meditation. And it's basically one of these things where it's like, he says, you are the sky. And um, he's like, all right, think of a bright blue sky. And then everything, all the thoughts, all your stuff, all the people that come into your life are just the weather moving through the sky. And it's so it's just like the sky, you know, the weather is just moving through you and it doesn't affect you because you are the sky, right? So it's just kind of super powerful of just, um, he's awesome to follow. Yeah. Christopher Carter. Thanks. Reagan. And, um, the other thing that I really have liked you guys is I set up all my three things that I do. So I do my, my pause, my affirmations or my lens statement that I listen to. And then my little workout. And I use this other app called coach me. It's coach.me. And so here it is. You can, you can see this, but it basically allows me to create like goals and check marks for the day. But if you're like me, you like to be like, Ooh, I checked my thing off. So I love that I'm checking off three things in like 10 minutes, first thing in my day. And I'm like, I feel accomplished. I'm like, all right, good. Now I'm like, okay, how can I get those three others? Right. So, um, that's the other thing I love. And if you guys, so building a lens statement, it doesn't have to be complicated. I kind of had struggled with it. I was trying to do it for about 30, 45 days of trying to put that together of like, who, who really am I? Like, what, what do I want to affirm, you know, to myself every single day so that I can show up my, the best person, um, in the world, like the best person, best version of myself. That's what I wanted to, sh to show up as. And, um, it took a while to do that. So pick some affirmations. They don't, you don't have to put it over music or anything like that. Like just pick a few that resonate with you that you think will help remind you who you are and what you're meant to do and to be a blessing in the world for, for others. So don't feel like you have to complicate it, but I would suggest um, if you already have a habit that a good habit anyway, <laughs> that you already are doing that you have already mastered, try linking one of these habits with um, when a new habit that you're trying to create with a habit that you've already created. Like for me, I cannot like leave my kitchen without taking my juice plus and my complete first thing in the morning. Like I have been on this product for 10 years and it's something that I just do. So that's easy um, because that habit's already created. So if you can link a habit that you're trying to create alongside one that you already have that you're crushing, um, I think it will really serve you and you'll find it to be, to be helpful. Um, so a couple of things that I wanted to share with you, um, that, um, oh wait, where is it? Okay. Your brain loves what's familiar. So what we repeat gets rewired in your brain. And I just think that is so powerful in that like, gosh, no wonder if we aren't liking the results that we're getting and we're still thinking those darn stinking thinking thoughts that aren't serving us, our brain likes those thoughts because it likes what's familiar. So it's up to us to create the new thoughts, create the new I am states. So that's why affirmations and things like that, they really, really, really do work. Um, and what would happen in your life um, if you controlled the thoughts that you were thinking and weren't just getting the 95% of default thoughts that we grew up with? 
I just think we have a really awesome um, opportunity to be mindful about what goes into our minds. Oftentimes, like for me, um, I just know myself like when Garrett and I, I don't know, were dating. So what, this is like 18, 19 years ago. Um, it actually, it was like right around 9-11. So however long 9-11 was ago, um, I realized that watching the news and watching, um, reading the newspaper incessantly, like did, didn't fill me up with what I needed. I actually felt very depressed and um, Garrett and I have a rule now that I'm like, if anything in the world is happening that I really need to know about it, you have to know that you're my person, like that has to tell me what's going on because I can't live in that world because I, I just know that if I'm getting too much negative information, I just completely shut down and I cannot function. And so the same thing is powerful with the good, healthy, happy thoughts that we put into our brains. Um, and our minds really want and feed off of what they love and is familiar. And so then you're like, oh my gosh, I got to put all the other happy, healthy, awesome, um, I don't know, thoughts into our brains that do serve us rather than the default thoughts that we get um, that are rolling around in our subconscious. So um, I want to open it up to questions or I'd actually love to hear if somebody else has um, a practice that is serving them in this and that they found great results with. I'd love to hear. Um, Jamie, I know, is going to share a Voxer message. She was um, going to be sharing with me tonight, but her, um, she couldn't make it. Her husband is out of town and her kids are going crazy. So she's going to share a Voxer message. She's had a major transformation in, um, creating some of these habits. Um, so look for her Voxer message tomorrow. Cause it's pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, Mel, thank you. That's, I love, I love your morning ritual. Cause it's, such an anchoring. I find having a morning ritual a very anchoring, something that I need to prime my day. I I, I actually get up around 5.15 in the morning and um, have, a, have a meditation and yoga routine that I do from about 5.30 to 6.15 when Rowdy comes down, starts making the kids lunch, and I need to go wake up the kids and get them ready for school. And I, I absolutely need that myself and but I love I love the recording that you did because I have to tell you I mean there are some days when I could really use that because when I'm trying to meditate monkey mind is going crazy and you can't quiet it down sometimes and it just it doesn't matter how well practiced you are at meditation sometimes you rail having having that to, to kind of to set, you know, e even if before or after a quiet, you know, my, I usually try to do a, a, a tran you know, a transcendent or, or um, you know, a, a meditation that's not, um, that doesn't involve any thinking, right? That you're just right. trying to detach and focus on breathing and, and just let the, let any thoughts kind of float on by, but then I usually also need some anchoring, you know, thoughts like that, positive thoughts, because otherwise, yeah, the monkey brain just starts going off into like all the, you know, the, the laundry list of things that I need to get done that day, or it, rather than being quiet and thinking about all the positive things I wanted. So I, I definitely want to try your technique. I like the, 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 you call it a lens statement, lens as in lens. Like, yeah, like what's the lens you're looking through? Yeah, mm -hmm. focusing your, your, yeah, okay, got it. Yep. Yep. I like it. Yeah, no, I probably for, I don't know, I feel like maybe two years now. And I mean, I can't say it's like made a huge difference necessarily in, in the business per se, but I um, have a thing where I go through like all my gratitudes, all the things I'm grateful oh. for. You know, anything from my health to my family to where I live to memories that are, you know, just, just even little stuff, right? Just, you know, grateful for the beautiful state we live in, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then I have a few like affirmation statements and then I'll go through and also just think about things like, you know, just 
maybe people I know that are hurting or whatever, just pray for their healing if they've been through something or a repair of a, you know, maybe, you know, a relationship that's gone bad or safety for my kids while they're away at school. And so I try to mostly do that. I find that I, I do that a lot of times, like when I get in my car, instead of like just mindlessly turning on the radio right away, I'll do that. Or if I'm walking my dogs, it hasn't gotten done, but I really, um, it felt really weird for a while, you know, Yeah. when it's a new thing, but now it's just sort of part of like what I do. Yeah. And it's just part of the routine. That's awesome. So Reagan asked, can you share um, how you got your voice on the app? So my voice actually is just, so what I did was I recorded it onto the a memo, like just, just the voice memo on my phone. And then I sent that to my computer and um, my, my friend Casey, he sent me that music. It's like a hemi, hemi-sync music. And it's apparent, like I said, it, it um, I guess, activates the subconscious brain, right? So then I overlaid it in GarageBand on my computer, which I say I overlaid it, but my child did it. And it, I literally was like messing with it for like an hour and a half. And he came home and was like, let's just start over. And he was like, click, click, click. And literally a minute and a half later, he had it done. So anyway, um, if you would like to use his services, if you want to send something, I can overlay it on that music very easily now that I know how to do it and I can send it back to you. So it's pretty simple. If you guys want to, I'd be happy to do that because it's been really um, really profound just having that as the voice and it being in your own voice, I think is like the coolest thing ever. It sounds super freaky at first. Um, but I found myself even out on trails and I'll listen to it as I'm like getting, um, like going to hike or whatever. And I'll be saying it out loud as it's like in my ear ears as well. And it's, it's pretty powerful. So what else? Okay, so I'm gonna, I will definitely share um, in the Facebook group, when sh I'll, I'll share some links to stuff if you guys want um, when she posts the recording. Mel, maybe, put, can you post the music up there? Would people be able to download it up there? Yes, I think I can do that. That'd be awesome. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, because if you could just put that in GarageBand and then you put, you overlay your own voice over it. It's easy. And then Judy was just telling me too that there's another app called Think Up app that allows you to record your own voice too. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Judy. Awesome. Yeah, I just did it on voice, the voice memo that comes with your iPhone. So. Awesome. Thank yep. you. It was awesome. Awesome. What a great I reminder to just go enjoy the day, right? <sighs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. So, and I think, you know, as we are, we're really in, I feel like an attraction business. And so when our mindset is right and our vibe that we're putting out there into the world is, um, is this awesome vibe? Like, it's, it really does attract people in and you don't have to, there's no convincing, there's no, you know, trying to twist somebody's arm about what we're up to. And when people get it, they get it. And when they get that your vibe is right and high, um, it, it really works. So I think setting your intention every day helps to keep that vibe high. So awesome. I know it's 6.03. Does anybody have any other questions? If not, have an awesome week. Have an awesome week. Yep. Awesome. Thanks, Mel. Thanks, Mel. Thanks you great. guys so much. That was awesome, Mel.